Team of the season is now here. If you want to make millions of coins, if you want to be able to grind out all the free packs and you want to join a community of like-minded FIFA players, the best community out there, then join foottrading.co.uk. We will help you make millions of coins. We will show you all the methods we're doing to craft free packs throughout the whole of TOTS. We've already got people that have crafted hundreds of packs without spending a single coin on the game. It is so, so easy to do, and everyone that subscribes now will get a bonus when it comes around to the brand new game. We'll be able to help you guys straight away, and you'll get money off your subscription for that. Check out Foot Trading. We guarantee you'll make millions, but for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fastball40. Make sure you subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed recently. The channel's growing nicely. I know there's been less videos, but we're in that sort of cool down period at the moment. The website is having a huge amount of work done to it so that when we launch next year, we have loads of new features on it, including a weekday league for you guys to get involved in. Um, but make sure you check out the website at the moment if you want to make millions of coins. It helps support our content and you'll guys be able to join the beta for all the new features that we've got coming out um, when we start testing those out as well. So we're very excited for that. But um, we're going to just quickly go over a way for you guys to boost your coin total um, on the game. A lot of people are telling me they've sort of rinsed their clubs out where just over halfway through tots now when a lot of people haven't got much in their club. And I think everyone likes to overcomplicate trading at times and it's sometimes better to go back to basics when it comes down to making coins and if your club's completely rinsed then these first methods will help you guys out. If you've got a bit more coins, I'm gonna show you what happened last week with La Liga Tots and so you can get a rough idea of who you might wanna look at for Ligue 1 um, as the week progresses to make some coins. But I'm not really a fan at the moment of holding too much because there's going to be a video showing you guys what is about to happen to the market coming up this week okay now the reason why this video is so so important is because i'm going to be bringing out a video i've just recorded it that's going to come out after this one at some point um, in the next couple of days and it's basically how to use these two at the moment to grind all the unlimited free packs you want by doing this what i've learned is that there are a lot of that there's a lot of value in certain players on this game and certain cards on this game because of these two spcs and it's so easy to make coins from them okay so if we look at these SBCs, what you're looking at really is just any of these sort of requirements that you think, right, that makes, there's going to be a demand for those sort of cards and those sort of players, right? So I look at the mixed league upgrade and there's not massive demand for these guys here. This SBC is very, very cheap to do. So I'm not too interested in these guys. What I am interested though is the Libertadores and the Sudamericana because you need Libertadores and Sudamericana cards to complete this SBC, but you also need Libertadores and Sudamericana cards to complete this SBC. So you, there, there's a good amount of demand there for them. Is it crazy demand at the moment? No, I reckon after the video I bring out, there might be because it's going to bump them up in price, I think. So you're going to have to bear that in mind. But this is the sort of way that I look at trading. I look at what is needed on the game at the moment. How do I make coins from it? And so I'm interested in this SPC here, all these four, and the Libertadores cards from the other guys. So really, it's simple. All I want to do is go and find out roughly what Libertadores cards are selling for at a basic level. What are they selling for? Um, so if I go to Libertadores and I go up, what's the cheapest Libertadores I can find at the moment? Why is it doing that? That's not right. Look okay. there. So the cheapest Libertadores I can find at the moment are 450 coins, okay? Now that does that does not mean that all Libertadores cards are 450 coins. If you open this up, there's no more after that. Doesn't mean they're 450 coins. It just means the cheapest you can buy one for is that price. Now, Sudamericana, I believe, are quite a bit cheaper than that. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, actually. Yeah, a little bit cheaper than that. 350 coins. So that's the minimum they're selling for, okay? Absolute minimum. So all I'm going to go and do is flip my filters and go, okay, cool. I'm not going to sit there sniping. I'm just going to bid. And I'm going to get up my bidding filters. I'm not sure possibly can. So that's why. So I'll show you why I can't do it. I'm going to build as many as I can, but let me just show you the reason why that came up. Because on my transfer list... I have an absolute ton of them that I've picked up dirt cheap. Absolutely, like, no risk at all. This this is basically discard price. So I'm going to put these guys here like that. I'm then going to go and buy some more because I'm going to clear, clear them up from that. Let me just go and bid on some more of them for now. So I should now be able to bid on them because my transfer pile is no longer... My transfer target is no longer full. 200 is fine. I'd rather get 150 if I can, but 200 is all right. Someone like Mena, for example, this is a gold card. They're more expensive. I might throw a little bit on him, but I'm not too bothered about him. They are the most profit, the gold guys, if you can get them. But they're just more of a headache to try and bid out people on that. I'm going to bid on that one. Let me just quickly flip through. Get to a point where there's loads. So someone's bidding at the same time as me, so I'm going to have to bid them up. What you want to try and do is get to the point where your filter is really, really quiet. hasn't got anyone else on it. That's what you want to try and do. So I got to a filter where there was no one on it. Sometimes not all the players are shown, okay? So I'm going to bid up all those players there. That's all good. Fantastic. 
Once I've done that and I've bid up my players, all I want to then do is find out what each of these cards are actually selling for individually because they're not going to be selling for all oh, for 350 or 450. They're going to be selling for differing amounts. So I'm going to have a little look at this Pyrrhus, for example. And if we look through him to get a rough idea, it's probably around 700 coins, give or take. He's 800 there. I'd, I'd say he's about 700 coins, so I'm going to list him up to 700. Probably better to list him 750 if you want to get the most amount of coins. Orellana, again, have a little look at him. So we just put this Orellana. 3,000 is the cheapest for this Orellana on the market right now. I pay 300, so I'm going to list him at 3,000. Hopefully get that profit back from him. Cardozo, again, going to have a little look at him. Again, he looks like he's about 700, 800 coins. Give or take, so 800 coins on him. And you can see the profit starts to stack up very, very, very quickly. Especially on some of these Libertadores, guys. They do really, really well. Um, you're not going to get as much profit from this with Americana unless you're lucky enough to get yourself a sneak through a couple of gold, guys. They do sell for a lot more. Um, but again, you're looking at sort of a standard price of about 700 coins for most Libertadores cards. Pretty solidly. Again, this guy here. Let's have a little look. Zapata. Again, probably about 700 coins on him. And you can see the profit stacks up. It stacks up really, 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 really quickly. Really, really fast. Um, and it's pretty basic when it comes down to how you sell them. You just want to sell them for the minimum they're selling for or overlist them slightly if you want to make more profit, if you're willing to relist a few times. Then we look at the Sud Americanas. Now, this is the thing. The Sud Americana does really, really, really differ because some teams are used as the solutions on Footbin for completing the Libertadores and Sudamericana part. And they really, really do deviate. But you have to be careful because people love to mass list them. But you can see 700 seems to be a similar going rate for most of these cards. 700 seems to be the standard rate for almost all of them. 600 on him. I'm going to list him for 700 because the rest of his teammates are that price. Our born a bit cheaper here. So again, it's a profit that will have cost of these cards is cheaper. But remember, you bought them a lot cheaper in the first place. You bought them miles, miles cheaper. So again, we're going to list him up for a bit more. And this is the other point to bear in mind, okay? This is the, the ma major thing that can happen with the Libertadores and Sudamericana. A little while ago, EA did their Libertadores Sudamericana up update. And what it did was some of the teams swapped, okay? So some teams went from Libertadores to Sudamericana. Some went from Sudamericana to Libertadores. So what happens is, is the cards of the Sudamericana, let's say they're now Libertadores, those Sudamericana cards are worth more. But because there's a Eugenio Mena, for example, in the game who is a Libertadores card, um, and just give me an example here, let's say he's now a thousand coins because he's impacts all the time for that. Some people will list up their Eugenio Mena card for that price. He's worth twice the amount. So sometimes you can bid on them and get them a lot cheaper. If you can learn where the differentiation is, where these players got their cards from, you will be able to find out very, very, very quickly the ones that are worth a lot. And they're guys that you can bid on, they're guys that you can snipe on. They're really, really good. They're so good to trade with. So one of the guys I think, I said Mena is one of the guys. If we look, I think it's Rodriguez. I could be wrong, but I think it's Rodriguez. Let me just go to my score quickly and flick through to that. If we look at, um, let me just get rid of these guys here. So Silva can go down there for now. You can see that I trade with them because why not? Um, if I go League, Libertadores. So what I'll do is I'll do Rodriguez. I'll try and find his name out first. So Libertadores. He's Uruguayan, I believe. I just want to get him up so you can see it. So his name is Sebastian Rodriguez. It might be him, it might not be. I don't really want in this video to be like, oh, here's loads of the same cards for you guys to look at. You've got to do a bit of work yourself. Sebastian Rodriguez. So if we do that, there you go. So he's got two cards there, okay? If you can work out the ones that are more expensive and the cheaper ones and whatnot, it will do wonders for you. There are cards here, the difference is about two to three K a card, and they're still being listed consistently at the price of the one that's currently in packs. There's loads of them on this game that you guys can do that with, okay? And you'll bump your coin total up really, really quickly just by using a little bit of time, a little bit of effort. And as you're doing it, slowly but surely cards will sell. So like that Colombo, for example, is already sold there for profit. That Bari that I did in the video, you'll see that in a different video is sold. Um, you'll be able to pick them up. And as you're doing that, you're going to build up and build up and build up coins. And that's going to enable you guys to start doing the things you want. Now, what I would advise you do is the method I'm going to show you guys in the video about how to craft your packs for cheap or for free. They are pretty much for free. Um, it'll mean that you'll get to have all the fun that everyone else is having 
with just using your own time and not rinse your club out because this is the fatal error everyone makes. They rinse their club during tots and it's like, yeah, you packed some great stuff in La Liga tots, but you've got nothing now to go and have fun during league and tots. Nothing at all. Um, and what do you do? You then go and spend money on FIFA points, which I wouldn't do. Subscribe to a website instead. You make a far, far, far more um, coins you'd ever make from FIFA points for the money. I can guarantee you that. But that's something simple you can be doing. Now, I do just want to have a little look um, at the cards for this week and last week and whatnot. So, League on Tots is here, okay? So, keep an eye on someone like Klaus, who's 120k. Um, trying to think of else. Fafana might be a good shout. I want to show you what some of the cards have done during the like La Liga and whatnot and how they've sort of dropped and bounced back. So, Borde is the one that I would be most interested in. He's a very, very, very good left back for the La Liga, right? Where team, well, where leagues lack positions or elite players in that position, cards can do well. So Borde, for example, got to a low of 1-2-1 on Wednesday. Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday seems for a lot of these cards to be their low point, but it has been quite erratic, has been really erratic. What your job to do is if you want to invest in cards is to look at what they're doing all week, wait to see if they have a day or two where they sort of hold a minimum price. As they start to rise again, that's usually the time to buy into them. But Borde was a good buy because there wasn't that much, by the way, of cards that are really really amazing left backs in that league there was a couple of good ones but no amazing ones so if we were to put that sort of into the league un, i'd be interested in someone like klaus perhaps okay so if we look at klaus not so so cold i think it's actually a really good card um klaus for example he's 121k right now he's followed followed what is a very very similar path very similar path to ball day now this is a very good right back really well-rounded right back if we go to League 1 and we have a look at all the right backs they've got. So FIFA 23 players, League, League 1 Uber Eats. Go position. I want to make sure it doesn't bring up. There we are. I knew it was going to do it. Go position right back. And you have a little look. You've got Hakimi, who is 1.6 million. Klaus is 121k. Atal, who's 67k. There isn't that much by way of options outside of Klaus. Do I think now is the buy point on him? Arguably not. I wouldn't say it's the buy point on him right now. Um, but he's someone that I would be looking at the difference between him and Hakimi is absolutely gigantic admittedly Hakimi is a better card there's no point denying that but someone like Klaus could do well if he gets low enough they're the sort of cards you can buy into it's positions in leagues that are lacking a little bit are the players that I would go for but I would just be very 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 careful about holding anything because again another video is going to be coming out talking to you guys about these guys up here um, and what happens in the next week or two to them. Um, so just bear that in mind. You don't want to be holding anything for more than a couple of days, in my opinion. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure notifications turn on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.